Here's how to make a photo slideshow in Movavi. So in this video, I'm going to exactly show you how you can make your own photo slideshows in an app called Movavi. So yeah, make sure you watch this video till the end to exactly know each and every step-by-step -step method on how you can make your own slideshows. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So first of all, as you can see that I have already installed Movavi and I'm on the seven day trial. So as you can see, once you open Movavi, it will ask you for the video uh, project and I've already launched it. But if you don't know how to download Movavi, so downloading Movavi is very easy. Just go to your favorite browser. Once you're in your favorite browser, just search up Movavi. And you search up Movavi, you will get it right over here. As you can see, Movavi Video Editor, just press on it. And it will bring you to its website. And here you just have to press download for free. And I will already have it downloaded. Once you download it, it will just basically give you its setup. And you just need to install the setup. It will take almost a minute or two to install it. Once you install it, you will be right over here. So how do you make your uh, you know, photo slideshow? So first of all, you have to drag uh, files. You can uh, or you can just uh, automatically uh, add files. So how do you drag them? Just go to your files and select the pictures that you want to use. Just like that. Minimize this. Just like that. And you could drag them. All right. As you can see. And... The other method is very simple. Just press add files and just go to where your files are saved and select them once at a time and press OK. And as you can see that I have the pictures on me right now. All right. So how do we make the slideshow on it? So first of all, we select the pictures and put them down as you as as you can see that uh, it's already showing me the picture. But we're just going to put it in the project file right over here and um, we're going to do the same for others. step by step uploading them right over here and now we have them in our timeline and now we can do our editing and make a slideshow on them so first of all in slideshow we can add music to it too that here you can see the music options that you could add any type of music but do do remember that the the crown option is only for those who got the uh, plan with it if you don't have a plan you could just basically use any other uh, in theme song uh, of that fits your uh, slideshow. All right, you can see there are many tasks of other two, and then you got sounds, so you could add sounds too. Now let's get back to our backgrounds, and you could add backgrounds to your videos or pictures too. But we don't need backgrounds actually because we already have pictures. So and, and then we got this third option, and it's a it's transition is basically so you can add basically transitions to your videos. So transitions are pretty cool uh, that you could add to your slideshow. So let me show you one uh, transition. So as, as you can see that I can add one in the start and one in the middle. So I'm just going to add one in the middle. So let's see how it looks. And as you all saw that, that the video changed by a transition. So we're just going to keep adding some transitions just to make a good looking slideshow. So we're going to add a attention and color files in the start. Yeah, this one, this one looks great. In the start, it will look so good. But yeah, as you can see, it it's only for those who got a pro subscription. And I can't basically use it. So I just got to remove it and got to find another one. How about we use Flash on the start? It will also look good. Yep. And we got transition. Now we're going to add transition in between. Crossfade right over here. And then fast zoom in. Then glitch. And then glitch uh, number three. And in the end, fast zoom out again. So now we have added our effects. And it's basically looking good. So as you can see, that we basically made a transition. So we're going to add more to it just to make it look more better. So then we got the free transitions and it, it has like a lot, a lot of stuff which you can basically use them for your art style and do whatever you like to. And then we got another option called filters. So you could basically add filters to your picture style. So let's say you don't like a picture color. Uh, let's say you don't like this picture's color. So you want to add some sort of filter to it. So how do you add it? So you just press distortion into your picture. And as you can see, you added some distortion into your picture and it's looking uh, different. And you you want to add some erosion in your picture you just do that and as you can see you got some erosion in your picture 
and you can just basically use um, more types of uh, filters on your videos and then we got blurs so you could basically blur one of your uh, project too if you would like to but it's up to you how you will like your uh, blurs and stuff like that so yeah then you got colors you could basically add colors to your uh, pictures so let's say I want to add some sort of uh, bonnet color to this one I add it and as you can see that I have added this picture color right over here then we got another option and uh, this is some stickers option so you can add uh, stickers to your uh, uh, slideshow let's say um, you want to add a camera so you could just basically add this sticker right over here and you have to basically uh, select it how you would like to and just put it in between and as you can see that you have added a sticker on the start and you be you basically do that well we won't use the sticker just just in case it's gonna do this and yeah you could use uh, stickers however you would like and then we got another option and this is basically effect store so in effects tool, you got like many different types of store that will basically change the way of your slideshow that you can see. So as you can see in this back info that you get 45 stickers. Well, if you like use it, you could basically change uh, how your uh, slideshow looks like and it will be basically a whole another slideshow. And it will basically do half of your work by managing the full effects by itself. And you could basically use any of them if you got like the pro feature. I don't think it has any free but as you can see you get for cinematics and family and many other uh, genres that you could use for your um, slideshow and make it look a hundred times better so I hope you understand the, uh, the effect uh, store situation and how you can use it you you could basically use it for whatever type of you like to so yeah but in the end we get the option of color adjustments so it's literally up to you that if you, how you ever you want to adjust the color adjustments so you get the color adjustments crop and rotate ro positions pan zoom stabilization animation highlight and conceal and then you got other option you could add slow mo and then many other stuff like that so yeah let's just add some auto contrast right over here and see how it looks and you, you saw that, that the picture uh, got auto contrast and we're gonna add some magic enhance in, the, in that one. Let's see how it looks. And yeah, the pictures are low quality, but if you got high quality pictures, you will be able to make a good photo slideshow. Trust me guys, this is a very good uh, chance to make your own good slideshows. And then you got p positions. So in positions, you could basically uh, put in whatever type of positions you would like in your videos. So as you can see, you got picture in picture as uh, other options. So if you if you like a video that if you want to put two pictures in the same position, you could do picture in picture. But yeah, you could just do many types of option with it. So yeah, and you've basically made your slide. So once your slideshow is done, just press just press export, and you think everything's right. You have basically done it. And one more thing that I want to talk about: if you want to like cut something uh, that you don't like, you could just basically do this and cut one section from it. And press delete key and you would basically delete uh, something from your transition that you don't like so i hope you understood the video and you like the concept and this video helped you out in many ways i hope so yeah uh, thanks for watching this video and once you press export and as you can see save in trial mode so i have a trial mode as, and you just press high quality because you need the slideshow in high quality and press start once you press start it will basically do the exporting and as you can see it's saving and the new file project MP and it's, it has been saved and let's check it out and yeah here you go you've basically made a video slideshow from Movavi and this is how it will look like if you got good pictures with it too and yeah I hope you liked this video and this video helped you out until then goodbye peace out